Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So we are going to be doing something very fun inside of this video right now, so make sure you stay tuned. We're pretty much going to be attacking some black hole troll bases and maybe a couple of other different troll bases using a troll troop army. This is going to be absolutely awesome and we want to see which troop is the best inside of COC. So obviously you've got the front runner, which is pretty much the Valkyrie. You've got the bowlers, which have just been buffed by COC, so we are going to test them out. You've got the dragons, which are always kind of left in the background. And we're also going to be testing out the minions, so this could be very interesting. So of course we are going to be starting this off with the Valkyries guys solely because they are now the most frequently used and the most high in demand troop inside of the game. Just like the Royal Giant is inside a Clash Royale and I think it's pretty amazing how the uh, the Valkyrie and the Royal Giant both a couple of months ago were the worst troops inside of both games and now they are both seen as the best. So Supercell really does change their mind quite a lot. So there is going to be no real uh, strategy inside of any of these raids. We are literally just going to spam troops into the black hole and see if we can freeze the Inferno Towers and pretty much do as much damage as possible. So we are going to base this all on percentage points. Which one of these troops is going to get the most? So the Valkyries have already made their way down towards the south of the base, guys. They are going to be dropping in the Haste spell to take out the Wizard Tower. Now the King and a smaller pack of Valkyries have gone towards the right-hand side. Then up towards the north, there is about seven or eight of them over there. And then the Queen has decided to be a Lone Ranger and go for the Dark Elixir Drill. That is why I love her, guys. So we've got the Valkyries going back down south with the King and, of course, the Grand Warden, who has unfortunately been targeted by that Ground Expo. Now the King should be a great tank here. Is the Queen still alive? She's just about to go down from the cannon, maybe taking out one or two more structures. Now, there is no clan castle in any single one of these raids, guys. If we did have a CC, a Golem CC inside of this episode, sorry, inside of this raid, then it looks like we probably would have got the three star. So the King has just gone down and that was a great attempt from the Valkyrie. They managed to get 76%. So that is what we need to beat. So what we're going to do next, we're going to be testing out these new buffed bowlers. So for anyone that doesn't know, the bowlers were recently buffed a couple of days ago. I think about two, maybe three days ago inside of the uh, the most recent small update for May 2016. Now we are hoping there will be another update, guys. So as soon as it is released, I will be bringing you all the information on this channel. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use the wall breakers to get into the outer layers. Now the black hole is right there. We will be dropping in the Valkyries very shortly, but we're going to use the King, Queen, and Grand Warden as a shield. Send in the Bowlers, and this is where we want to see how quick are these Bowlers going to be. So Supercell has basically uh, buffed them to make them chuck their Bowlers a lot quicker. So here we go. We are about to drop in the Valkyries. Let's see if they can make their way right into the center of the base. Going to drop the Free Spell on both Inferno Towers. That was a clutch Free Spell. Second Rage Spell is going to... Sorry, the Heal Spell... And the haste spell have been dropped into the center. Now, unfortunately, the Valkyries decided to go completely the opposite side to the actual uh, the multi-target Inferno Tower. And the bowlers end up taking it out. So once again, there is no golem inside of this raid. There is no clan castle. And I'm sure if we had a single golem, then it would have been an easy three-star. Now, the first base did have higher level defenses. It was completely maxed out. Apart from the walls, I think, and maybe a few levels on the heroes. This base does have lower level defenses. And it just about beats the, uh, the first attack. With a couple of percentage points. Of course, we did decide to use half bowlers, half Valkyries. But I still have to say, an all Valkyrie army is definitely better than a half and half with the bowlers. The bowlers, although they were buffed, they still suck. So the Queen's actually going to clean up that Elixir storage and a couple more percentage points, guys. But if you agree with me and think the bowlers just need to be changed in, in complete... Like, just the whole troop needs to be changed. And maybe the dynamics and the mechanics of it need to be changed a little bit. Then, then comment down below, guys. Hashtag the bowler sucks. Because it really does bring nothing to the game. So this could be the raid that everyone's been waiting for. We are going to be using 120 minions, guys. So we're going to drop in a couple just to start off with to see if we can draw out any air bombs. Because, of course, one air bomb can wipe out an entire army of little minions. So this is going to be extremely hard. But this is one of the only troll bases we could find for quite some time. But it's got two multi-target Inferno Towers. We're going to use the Earthquake spells once again using the King, Queen, and Grand Warden as semi, like a semi-tank. And hopefully... We can get that first air defense down pretty quickly. So we're going to drop in some. And look at that. Look, air bomb comes up straight away. We're going to drop the rest into the black hole into the center. Now, this is going to be very hard because I am playing on an iPhone. And I actually have to switch between the troops and the spell. So it is very hard to try and spam the minions in as quick as I can. Now, we've got the Grand Warden there who was also set to air. But he just didn't manage to do anything for them. And unfortunately, they faded away pretty damn quickly. No more air bombs, though. And we've only managed to get a maximum 
of about 25-26% damage to this base. So it really was one of the poorest attacks that I've ever seen. But you know what? It's just minions, guys. They're just like archers. They get taken out so damn quickly. They are always a great support troop. So the final percentage was 26. So this time we are going to get ourselves into a live attack using none other than the level 5 dragons. The three heroes. We are going to set the, uh, the Grand Warden to air this time, I believe. Where are you? Let's set him to air, guys. And of course we have. What are the spells we are bringing? We are bringing one heal, two rage, two freeze, and a, and a haste spell. So let's see if we can find ourselves a troll base. We will be back in a few moments time, guys, where we will be sending in the, uh, the dragons to do some damage. Check that out. Look at that base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees in the center. One of the weirdest bases I've ever seen. So we've just landed on this Town Hall 11 troll base, guys, but it is extremely maxed out and it's going to be very hard to try and take down. So we're not going to attack from the black hole. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to send in two dragons on each side up here just to clear out and make a funnel. And then we're going to try and basically just funnel the other seven or eight dragons into the core. Now, this is going to be a bit dodgy, guys, but there we go. We have dropped in the dragons. Now, we're going to send an extra one on the right-hand side, and that should be enough for the uh, the left-hand side there. We're going to send in the king and the queen, and we're actually going to drop in our first rage spell very shortly, guys. But there go the, uh, the rest of the dragons. Now, I've tried not to space them too close together, so we're going to use the king's ability now and drop in the first rage spell. So, here we go, guys. Rage spell going to go down. Did I just miss the Grand Warden? The Grand Warden just passed away already. That's ridiculous. We've already lost him. So we're going to use the Queen's ability. And we are going to drop a, a free spell very shortly on this single target Inferno Tower. Because that's going to absolutely destroy my dragons. Dragons, where have you gone? We've just lost the, the Eagle Artillery has destroyed my dragons. It done so much splash damage that they just got wrecked. We're not even going to bother wasting the spells. The dragons have got destroyed. You know what? That's actually annoyed me, guys. I'm just going to end that there. Well, we lost anyway, but let's just end that there. That was horrendous. We're just going to have to end this episode here. The dragons just got wrecked. But yeah, of course, the Valkyries were always going to win this challenge. So there it is, guys. That is going to be the end of the episode. Leave a like down below if you have enjoyed it. Now, just before we go, I did want to talk to you about something, guys. The game is getting a little bit repetitive because the last update, the bowler one I'm talking about, wasn't really the greatest. And the bowler in general... They didn't, didn't do anything to the game. I mean, no one uses him, so therefore no armies have changed. Like, a new a new card comes into Clash Royale, like the Legendaries, and it changes thousands, if not millions, of decks in the world. But a new bowler comes into Clash of Clans, and no one uses it. So Supercell really do need to bring out a second troop, maybe even two new troops, which are going to change the, uh, the actual mechanical aspect of a lot of people's decks. And they also need to bring out some new spells. So please, as usual, every single one of you guys go down into that comment section and give me some ideas, give me some feedback on what you would love to see on the channel. Do you want to see some, like, comedy episodes? Do you want to see some more trolling? Do you want to see some more troop challenges? Anything and everything is always welcome in that comment section, guys. So I cannot thank you enough. We've just surpassed 370,000 subscribers. This is going to be the final episode of the day. I will see you tomorrow morning for another one, guys. I hope you have a great Friday. Love you all. Peace out.